What's up guys? This is the Broverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Napoleon Total War Let's Play as the Swedish Empire. So to pick up where we left off, we have uh, solidified the situation in Central Europe and we have begun to focus our forces down um, more towards the Spanish front. The idea being we want to knock out Spain, take Portugal, then declare war on Britain and see how that impacts things in Central Europe. So right now, um, we also still do want to push in uh, Northern Italy but not at the expense of my um, Spanish front. But to be honest, once I've got these three armies down here, that will be enough to knock out the Spanish and take Palma. Then we will, we will look at attacking Britain. I don't think we'll need more than two armies to do that. And this force here in Marseille will attack Torino when a couple of armies push down through Luzerne, hit Milan and hit Innsbruck at the same time. It's your replenishing, your up at full strength. So let's say I'm sure you might not be able to leave actually because we've only just just taken Castle back from the Spanish. Yeah, bit grumpy. Well, I wonder. Well, these militia. I just want to put them outside, then inside. Yeah. Okay, they managed to hold the fort. So let's move this force over here towards Switzerland and then we can backfill armies to guard the front here with new troops from Sweden so such as when this guy embarks or to be honest he could just run rather than be shipped we had, there's no immediate rush and you can use this guy to keep sending troops back and forward across the front so you're fully recruiting Finland's fully recruiting you guys get back to port. Um, so I'm waiting for the third army to to pop up and sit here in the centre. Because I'm thinking if we push either side of these mountains, they might just push north through the gap in the middle, which would really suck. So that's why I'm waiting for Mr. Roma to get down here and take up position. In terms of tech, nothing, nothing to worry about for three turns. So let's hit end turn. But yeah, those armies that have that are going to be pushing. Well, there's Napoleon. Uh, those armies that are going to be pushing in Spain, the idea, I think, of those three is one would go east to Palma, then to Corsica, then the other two would return to Normandy and land and attack London. And then they, those two forces can attack the British Isles, and we can see how the, uh, the Allies react to that. And you can see there's a significant amount of firepower in Central Europe, so we are going to want to control as many strategic points in Central Europe as we can before we declare war. Now obviously Russia's the wild card because we may end up wanting an army here to land and attack St. Petersburg. We can heavily reinforce them to try and open up a second front against Russia to prevent them from just firing all their troops west. That would be a, a good win I think. Obviously, the Italian states need to, be, need to be knocked out, but that's something we're going to worry about later. For now, we just want to carry on with our plans. It looks like they're heavily reinforcing Barcelona. Maybe so you're, in, you're in Berlin. More ships recruited and more troops recruited. So this, this chap's just going to be going backwards and forwards. So you guys can probably stand to recruit and... Oh, you've already got a skirmishy unit. Okay, you need a lat infantry. Because they are skirmishes, but they are... They can occupy... They are deployed as a company and can form square, so they're not kind of the same thing. So this force is going to push south to hit Innsbruck. So I might actually push the first army down here to take position in as a garrison of Stuttgart. You're both in position. Waiting for Mr. Bengston to replenish and there's probably going to be some sort of attrition in the Alps so we may as well wait for that to be done. You're still on the move. Or you could you could push Barcelona 
and Mr. Almquist can push through the center of this pass here. Trait gain, my spy. It's got even better here in Munich. Workers on strike in Castle. Not anymore. Uh, let's just put my spy into Vienna. Town is shrinking. But there's a significant amount of Russian troops. But yes, this is why I need to just keep recruiting as quickly as I can <laughs> with uh, at Stockholm. It's my only 99 turns to build large fortifications. Well, you continue your march into Europe. Yeah, the French are also reinforcing. But it looks like the Austrians are going to meet them in battle. Yeah, you can see Prussia has a significant amount of troops. They are going to be dangerous foes to meet on the field. Schwerin could be captured fairly quickly, but I do I will want Schwerin. I mean, I don't quite know what you're up to. But yes, we will want to push that Stuttgart force down towards Innsbruck. Like, well, to be honest, all of this might fall apart if the Prussians declare war on me first. But I don't think that's going to happen. But ideally, we take Spain, take Portugal, gobble up Britain and redeploy. And then if we can do that, those armies that have taken Britain, they will deploy to Finland to jump onto Russia in the rear. That would be my, that would be ideal, I think. Yeah, Spain is heavily reinforcing. And you're going to push forward and raid, not a problem. So you're going to push down Stuttgart, because that's the first place that needs, that's the furthest town away that needs reinforcement. Um, Mr. Backstrom, come out and attack both these tiny units. Yeah, the town doesn't like us, but you can see... If you send the full army out, you will be overall reinforced fairly quickly. Right. So you take position on the high ground. It looks like they may be seeking to push us. Can Mr. Armquist leave Toulouse? He can. If I keep him on the west bank, he will continue to reinforce. There we go. The push is on. So we can now repair that building. You two are ready, but we're just waiting for the snow to go away. So this army here... Order. You can take these in Delta. Order. Get back to Finland. Pick up this new detachment, drop them on the shore. So we're getting, yeah, we're starting to draw up our reserves, but I'm hoping once we've got these armies built, we don't need to recruit any more. So let's reuse this force to recruit Deltol, Det, Detlof Langre. Confident general, 34 years old. So you guys have eight recruit, recruiting slots left, and that's going to be your last unit of heavy cavalry. Two units of guards, two units of lights, and let's get... To Kugan, he get Vavade. So four turns, and then you'll be done. You start requesting howitzers to fill up the last recruitment slot. Good. But yes, we've got this chap. I oh know these how. It, oh right, you're going to go. You're going to um, Finn piles of force. I remember. Okay, so you guys are going to wait for that to be completed. You guys, that means you could probably stand to take a horse artillery and an in Delta unit. Send them to Kessel to make room for the two howitzer units. So then down here, this force isn't in, can't, it's not in range of that Spanish army, so we have to wait. Your infrastructure's good. 
Okay, let's hit end turn. We just keep cranking through the turns because we need to get uh, Pamplona to start uh, for coming more into the fold and allow us to move our troops out. It looks like Austria might be pushing Bav uh, Innsbruck, so I might want to attack it myself. Especially as it looks like the Prussians are massing. They've been repulsed. Hmm. Gonna go try and steal some French technologies. Get your own research research done. Actually, ha oh, no, again, it's just my my eyes. It's kind of like the you know the uh, is the dress you know white and gold and blue and black or whatever. Some of these uh, provinces, like the Russian one, right next to the French one, it kind of looks uh, more more green rather than blue. Oh, good. So one of their forces has moved back. They've fallen back to Barcelona. So we've got mass production, which is good. A lot of mines have been upgraded. So you can advance. If you advance and hit Cilio de Lezo, that will draw this force in as reinforcements, and they will be knackered. So I might... Okay, if I push you to here, you control both those bridges... So if I fight this force, there's a chance they might retreat south of the river here. And if they do that, I can push you up to the bridge. That will be quite a significant blocker for the enemy. Keep that artillery moving up. Keep this artillery pushing down to the front. Can you down? See, I would love to have better roads, but I can't. I just can't build them. Okay, so now you guys are recruiting your artillery. You can recruit a unit of 12s. And one more unit. You may as well start to try and recruit a lifeguard unit. In three turns, this army will be finished, and then they can push down towards the front as well. But I think we got to try that. Hit Cilio de Lezo, drawing the garrison of Barcelona. Because they will be depleted and knackered from reinforcing their troops on the front. So you want to set up, advance, knock out the first army, and then push up the map towards where the reinforcements are coming in from. And then the enemy will be swiftly annihilated. The fools. Okay, so we're fighting the woods. Cluster my militia up inside Finnish troops so they're not isolated. So then let's create you know the flanks push up through the trees on the left on the right. So we've got two units of Kurganet, Varvade, and a and a lifeguard Jaeger. They look pretty nice. I do like my lifeguard Jaeger particularly. They look really nice. So, in terms of artillery, this is this place is pretty barren. So my guns are just going to follow. With my, same with my howitzers, really. They could probably fire now, but... I don't really want to waste them against Tirador. I want to just keep them advancing towards the front. The group... Formations button oh, to the crud. left of the center on the battle control panel brings up a set of standard formations that can save you time okay. and effort. Move your mouse over so each. You I said artillery is going to be kind of useless. Turns out it might not be super useless. Form a line to face the enemy. Then my left flank needs to advance up through the woods. I mean, it looks like they're not going to advance up towards us. Which is handy. I mean, there's lots of cavalry coming in first, so I do like the fact they're letting us just redeploy. Let's 
unlimber my 12s. Let's take these guys and just chamfer the edge off a bit. You do have to wonder if they're actually just going to group up and then my left flank is going to start to struggle. Well, if it does, it does. We'll find out. At least my 12s can... Yes. Engage their cavalry so they think they have to fire. They have to chase us down as well. Yeah. The enemy guns are firing. Yeah, I don't want to go too mad. Because the enemy cavalry force there is quite strong. So you guys are going to push up to support the line. And these units are going to push up against the enemy cavalry and the guns. Okay, let's redirect my 12 pounders. You deploy into squares. My cavalry's not going to respond quickly enough. But they're regiment of horse, so they're going to get some good hits against my light horse, but we've also got a horse guard unit down here. And there we go. Looks like the unit of cavalry has been annihilated, so let's get this infantry out of square, pull them back a bit, just to make sure they aren't going to get shot by friendly fire. Unlimber my howitzers. Enemy general's bodyguards getting involved by the sounds of it. I don't think they, can, they can't make up their mind what they're going to do. But I know what my guys are going to do. I mean, look at all that cavalry. <laughs> Can you guys just halt? Can you guys halt and open up. Horse guards are getting involved. What I want to do is use my horse guards to knock out the guns and then get all my cavalry back. Because if we can lure as much of this this cavalry mess into square formations, the better. So you men are going to have to run. Keep running, just keep running. And then cut inside my formation. The idea being if they try if they're trying to chase my cavalry, they will run into my squares now. Okay, these units deploy into your own squares. We might be able to witness the death of the Spanish cavalry. Because that unit... Get him into squares two. There goes the light horse. The general staff still active. 12 pounders. Attack the unit of irregulars. My six pounders. Don't have the range. Come on, knock out that general's bodyguard. So they're not charging. They are. Not they're charging again. There 
Right, okay. trigger my howitzer to start lobbing some shells in. We have killed their general, sir. Now they must break. Yeah, general staff's been killed. If you guys out of square, advance you up. Get Mr. Roma over here. So now the four guards are interested. So I'm not sure who's in great, who's fighting you to prevent you from getting into square formation. Get the cavalry up. Horse guards are in again. Not going to do so well against my lifeguard. Now they're coming in. So these men are they're confident. So they are going to go for my gunners. Oh no, they've abandoned that ambition. But let's try and get new men to keep pushing the flank. Get my artillery just to blast them with canister shot, if that's what it takes. Where's my howitzers? Make sure they're shooting someone else. Go on, men, they're at point blank range! Sorry, that might have been quite loud. Okay, my cavalry can begin to push, because that's thinned out their options. It's all about trying to thin out this enemy cavalry position. You see, militia are perfectly good at fighting off even elite cavalry. Back here we've got general staff, light horse, grenadiers that are in formation. So we aren't going to charge forward to attack those squares. We want to push forward, take out a unit, retreat, push forward, take out a unit, retreat, and repeat. If it looks like we can draw in general staff, even better. Their infantry's holding out their own their own um, reinforcement from the 8th Light Horse. Ah, oh, enemy general staff are routing. It'd be lovely if we could kill them, but we want to pull back. More cavalry shenanigans. Huzzah! So now we're going to rely on our cavalry providing the advantage on the left flank. So I could push, but my artillery's got a good, reasonable field of fire. So let's bring my horse guards in to attack the infantry de linea. Bring my lights in to re-engage the 8th light horse. Damn, you guys haven't gone into square formation, which is kind of lame. But it looks like the 4th are going to route anyway. T 
see if we can w wipe out a unit of infantry here. Where's my general? Mr. Roma, get up here. Because morale is most of the danger here. The light horse are down. Push my light horse on into the general's staff. So you men withdraw. Who's that? Everyone can focus on the horse guards. I just saw Red Dot fly backwards. Okay, there we go. They're going to hit my guns, but I don't think they're going to last too long against the battle from the squares. Our men are running for them. Good men. Good. I don't want them to die. Just, I don't mind losing them. There we go. Light horse coming back. To be honest, let's try and send my cavalry up and try and make... So now I've lost one set of guns, we can make the right flank a bit more mobile. Right, here skirmishes, so let's begin a more conventional action. And then, as a result, my howitzers can limber up and they can push up. So you, my cavalry, re-engage the fourth light horse. My horse guards attack their fourth horse guards. Then form up again. There we go, their skirmishers have now exposed themselves. what we've got here. Grenadier Regiment, plus a Regiment of Militia, plus a Regiment of Line Infantry. Uh, howitzer, Howitzer, Howitzer. Push up. Let's get my Bjorn Borg up here. I mean, their militia are exhausted. The Grenadiers are in square, so don't worry about them. But try and see if we can clear their militia out. Which we have. Let's try to kill them a little bit more. Then pull back, because I do not want to engage that Grenadier square. Six pounders probably have to cease fire. The twelves have regained their courage back. They're probably going to come back, but they are exhausted, so they might not. Grenadiers, horse guards. I mean, they're winded, so let's push my cavalry towards them. Are they charging? Well, they are charging. Very well. Yep, yeah, they formed square, so let's push my cavalry around the square. Charge the horse guards. The infantry advance. Because you men are tired, my men are fresh. You might be horse guards, but 
Not horse guard enough. Pull the cavalry back. Charge into the third light horse. Because that's the commander of the army that's currently in the field, not the reinforcements. I don't think the horse guards that are fresh are a bit of a concern. The men of fatigue, sir, and must rest a while. You men are doing great work. There we go, get the cavalry out of the way for good. We're spending too much time on these Tirador. So my Bjornborg bayonet charge them. We need to make a call. We need to split this line. And get more support over here. when these troops get back into the action that's going to hurt our left flank so we're going to want to knock out some of these units that we're currently engaging get my horse guards in to attack the light foot Bjorn Borg have been cleared out so you men focus on knocking out this cluster of Spanish troops They've got my howitzer fire to back them up. Get my cavalry to push up towards the irregulars. If my horse guards can knock out the 14th lightfoot, that would be ideal. You're going to pivot so that you're engaging the block of Spanish troops here. So you need to rotate away. Then we need to begin doing stuff like this. Yep, there was a mine. I need to keep my cavalry close to provide enough of a threat. You guys withdraw. Light infantry go for the irregulars. You're not you're not shooting as many as I would like. Sir, sir, our general is under attack. Keep my general clear. Bring my cavalry back in. So we pushed off the artillery. Oh, spikes again! Mr. Roma! God damn it! You men push the flank. Knock out the infantry de linea. Push on into the light horse. Good fire here. God, these spikes. Poor old Mr. Roma. We barely knew ye. So push this infantry into the Grenadier Regiment as well. Just to make sure. The men of the teams are a must rest of one. You pull back. Horse guards pull back. Actually, you get ready to hit the 38th Regiment in the rear. Horse guards in the front. There we go. So then this cavalry. I see the spikes now. Pull out and back. My lifeguard, ah, they did not like charging into the 39th Regiment head on.
let's try and mop up the men this cluster. I'm sure you are. So after you've broken them a little bit more, what you're going to do is get out of dodge. There you go. You men make ready, make aim and fire. Knock out the sixth light foot. Keep dropping the howitzer fire in the centre. Good. So there goes the light foot. There goes the eighth. Knock out the art. Okay, the artillery can be. chased down by two particular units. You men need to face against the skirmishes in the trees. My cavalry needs to push up the flank because it looks like some of the irregulars are coming back. There we go. My heavy cavalry came back so walk them back to the front line. Bring my general staff back. Not that I'm expecting miracles. All my cavalry after the irregulars. Okay, you guys need to run over here. You men need to bear in a charge Com the skirmish company. My cavalry needs to push around this defensive line here. And my infantry needs to get up here. You're, you keep pouring your fire. My militia are wavering so they could break at any moment. My little chaps that pose as general staff aren't going to help. We need. Men are running yeah, it's understandable. Unless you're taking a volley at close range, they won't be fans of that. But you men, open up. My general staff charge into the side of the grenadiers. Killed that enemy general. Ah, oh, there's a cavalry. Okay, so you go after that gun team, you go after that gun team. All oh, my cavalry hit the 24th Regiment of Foot. My general routed from hitting the Grenadiers, understandably. You chaps pivot to shoot into the back of the 23rd. The 9th Regiment of Militia will likely route, but right now they're just holding the line. Okay, you guys need to pivot to engage the 23rd Regiment appropriately. Our men are running for Another unit of Militia broke, broken. Understanding that's the one I stuck out in the centre of their line. So let's take you two. Advance you men up towards the 15th, because there's, there's a chance if we knock out the 24th, And our cavalry will just storm storm on into the uh, reinforcements. It's Bane at charge the 23rd. Two units to their one. Our men are running for. <laughs> so you men get in there. You men push up. There we go. Spanish have routed, so then let's push up you guys. This militia came back. You men charge the 15th. 
My second Grenadier Regiment charge in. There goes the 15th. Looks like everyone's currently where they should be. These cavalrymen are lollygagging behind the line. You men just both attack. The 50th Regiment of Foot Regimento de Toledo Veterans. Then you two units surround the formation. My howitzer just attack ground. Guerrero de Valencia. Nice. Oh, you can't quite push up. You have to push up to here. The grenadiers can't work out what to do. So it looks like these in light infantry did. They're going to get into a melee combat with one of my units. Another unit of militia that's returned. The grenadiers are now routing. Yep, so now it's just feast. These militiamen are going to get a good few kills from those grenadiers. Poor old Tirador. They're, they're confident, which is good for them. the grand scheme though one would think they aren't necessarily happy let's speed up time because right now this is just going to be them getting shot to pieces because they're still steady i mean i mean i well, can and will just... victory, sir, yeah. is soon to be yours. thanks for the advice commander Let's do you two. Cease the howitzer fire. It's a bit redundant. There's Puyas troops right there. Ugh. So you know there's a Spanish unit there to help covering your back. Cavalry, don't run the other side of that spike line. Oh, it's because they're quite elite, I suppose. They're experience level three. The men are fatigued, sir. I must rest a while. I know they are. Come on, let's just speed this up. Because right now we just know that it's going to be a case of watching the nut crack and watching them get slaughtered run through my line. Whichever way they decide to run. Otherwise they're just sucking up shots. They have to make a choice. Unless they might be running through a militia unit. The unit of Tirador is doing quite well. Oh, they're going to run right just through the gap. Fine. My Bjornborg will just catch the, the corner of them. Fatigued, sir, and must rest a while. Right, okay. So then... Da, 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 da.
You men, surplus to requirements, ceasefire. And this poor Tirador unit just doesn't have anywhere to run. Yeah, they're finally wavering. I think, again, it's because they are an experienced unit. But there we go. So our force has managed to break their army. But at great cost. Oh, Brag Bergelund. Natural scout, confident general. You men fall back to home territory. For replenishment. So this is kind of why I like having two armies, if you like. Because one can leapfrog forward and take the city as it's already depleted. Rather than having to do a bit of replenishment. So you, to be honest, may go east. To speed this up a bit. You need to stay where you are to prevent them from breaking out to the north, but you, next turn, can push and take the city. Heroic death for Lars Roma. Yes, indeed. Okay, one more turn to get Grand Battery. You've gone on to Limited Liability Company. More wealth, which is great. Let's hit end turn as more of our troops cross the Baltic Sea. The French are turtling in their territory that they have left. But I don't think it will save them. It will not be enough. So the gentlemen are on. They're fleeing back towards their own territory. They've stopped trying to steal my technology, finally. Okay, Napoleon's reinforcing Innsbruck. So I might send two armies down to take Innsbruck, one to do the main fighting and one to capture the city. The one that's done the fighting will fall back to Stuttgart and remain on guard for the future Prussian invasion. Yes, Prussia, I know your game. They can be an interesting enemy to attack and defeat. I'm going to probably want to recruit troops to land off of their coast. Oh, there's a re rebel unit. As their agents make their merry way around the continent. Yeah, don't worry, Russia. I've not forgotten you. You men need to be dealt with one way or another. It looks like they might be pushing on to Innsbruck. They've won. Right, I need to take Innsbruck. Rapido. Looks like they're going to try and reinforce Barcelona. But we can't let that happen. Because we want to... Well, we're in a good position right now. In Spain. So you've got Grand Battery. So you've then gone on to Uniform Armament, which will then go on to Rifle Cannons. Gold mine repaired. Okay. So you need to get down here quickly. I think we need to jump on this. Otherwise, Austria and... Oh, we're not even going to get there in time. I will try to push. See, if they don't go for it this turn, we'll go for it. Can you guys now leave Castle? Minus three. If I exempt you from tax, you can. Just because I want to try and get them down towards Stuttgart. Because that's a bit of a risk. The artillery is almost down to Finn. Then we're going to fight the Swiss. I think we need to just squeeze the French now. So you push out of Marseille on towards Torino. You bottle up the garrison at Barcelona. You're not going to go back. You're actually going to stand up ready to fight against Alonso Rodriguez. Barun Amkis is going to attack the city of Barcelona. But looking at the timer, I believe that's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time as we capture the Spanish city of Barcelona. Cheers everyone.